I'm going to approach this one as an anime fan rather than a DC fan as the only characters I'm familiar with are Harley and Joker. Plus, this is an anime channel. I also watch the sub rather than dub, but with all that out the way, man is this a fun show. Now, don't get me wrong, this is certainly nothing groundbreaking, but with the amount of isekai that's released every season, this is a nice breath of fresh air. While there are a lot of pop culture references and the action isn't the smoothest, there is a ton of great humor and I really enjoyed the designs of the characters. We follow Harley Quinn, King Shark, Clayface, Peacemaker, and Deadshot, some of the most notorious DC supervillains as they explore an alternate world on behalf of Amanda Waller. And if they don't behave and do as she says, the bombs implanted inside of them will more or less ruin their day. It's a Suicide Squad anime, so if you're familiar with the movie of the same name, then the plot here should be easy to understand. With studios behind this one alongside the writer for ReZero, but this isn't meant to be a gripping thriller or anything like that, just a fun time with some fan favorite characters. Speaking of fan favorites, the VAs did a fan fantastic job, especially the young actress behind Harley Quinn who absolutely killed her role in this opening episode. Having these iconic voice actors behind these iconic characters really enhances the show in my opinion. And while we have a mix of veterans and newcomers, I think the voice work will be another massive highlight for the show. If this sounds good to you, the link to check this out is in the description. YouTube thinks that you'll like this video and subscribe for more quick seasonal spotlights.